Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, g equals x minus c over x, and we're going to solve that for x. All right? Well, what I need to do is I'm going to, I'm going to rewrite it over here. So g equals x minus c over x, and we're solving for x. So my first step is to get x out of the denominator. To do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. That gives me an x, g here on the left, equals an x minus c. Okay? Well, now I need to bring uh, all the x's over to one side. So I'm actually going to subtract an x to both sides. What that gives me, I'm going to write my equal sign here, equals that negative c, is I'm left with an x, g minus an x. Okay? So an x, g minus an x equals a negative c. Well, what happens if I, if I can pull out an x from both parts? If I can pull out an x from both parts here, the x times g and the minus x, I'm left with x parenthesis g minus 1 equals a negative c, right? So I distributed, what well, you can see, if I distribute that x back across, x times g was xg, and x times 1 is x, and there's a subtraction right there between them. And that's the my negative c here. So I'm going to rewrite this over here. x times g minus 1 equals a negative c. And now I need to, well, I need to get rid of the g minus 1, or bring it over to the right-hand side, so I have x isolated. So I'm going to uh, divide, uh, some multiplication, a g minus 1 to both sides. That leaves me with an x by itself here, and a negative c over a g minus 1. And there we are. There's our final answer. Now, sometimes people will have the negative out front here, but it's the same thing. Negative c up here, and negative right out front. Okay, so our final answer here, x is isolated, is x equals a negative c over g minus 1. So let's recap. We were given g equals x minus c over x, and we're solving that for x. I rewrote my equation and then multiplied x to both sides. That eliminated the x right here and brought the x to the left. Then I wanted to bring all my x's together, so I subtracted this x to both sides, leaving me with x, g minus x equals a negative c. From there, I knew I could pull out an x from both parts here, leaving with x times parentheses g minus 1. And that's still equal to my negative c. I rewrote it up here, right, for some space reasons. And then I divided by g minus 1 on both sides. So what that did was eliminate this g minus 1 here, leaving me with x equal to negative c over g minus 1, which is my final answer.